Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I welcome you all in EPSEX Online Support and Assignments Tutorial for Week 9. I am Zubia Razak from APS Chakthamni. The grade is 9 and subject is Biology. Recipe is Chapter number 8, Nutrition. Objective is at the end of this week you would be able to understand about problems related to malnutrition from textbook pages 153 to 156. Day 2 tasks are to understand about Problems related to malnutrition. Problems related to nutrition are grouped as malnutrition. It offers to understand nutrition resulting from inadequate consumption, poor absorption, or excessive loss of nutrients. Malnutrition also includes overnutrition resulting from the overeating of excessive intake of special nutrients. Most commonly malnourished people either do not have enough calories in their diet or eat a diet that lacks protein, vitamins or trace minerals. Malnutrition nutrition weakens the immune system, impairs physical and mental health, slows thinking, stunt growth and affects fetal development. Common forms of malnutrition include protein energy malnutrition, mineral deficiency diseases, and over intake of nutrients. So what is protein energy malnutrition? This means inadequate availability or absorption of energy and proteins in the body. It is the leading cause of death in children in developing countries. It may lead to diseases such as Kwashiorkor and marasmus. According to the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, malnutrition contributes to the deaths of more than 6 million children under the age of 5 years each year. So here you can watch the symptoms of Kwashiorkor and symptoms and signs of marasmus. Kwashiorkor core is due to the protein deficiency at the age of about 12 month, months when breastfeeding is discontinued. It can also develop at any time during a child's growing years. Children may grow to the normal height but are abnormally thin. And in marasmus, usually it develops between the ages of 6 months and 1 year. Patients lose all their body fat and muscle strength and acquire a skeletal appearance. Children with marasmus show poor growth and look small for their age. So here ribs clearly visible through the skin, thin and bony face, sunken eyes and poor growth and in kvashir core producing belly. Brownish hair, dark and scaly skin, stunted growth, underweight, swollen legs, loss of, it, of appetite, anemia, mental retardation, and reduced resistance. Next one is mineral deficiency diseases. Diseases resulting from the deficiency of a mineral are relatively rare among humans. Some examples are goiter. Goiter is a condition caused by an insufficient amount of iodine in diet. Iodine is used by thyroid gland to produce hormones that control the body's normal functioning and growth. If sufficient iodine is not available in person's diet, thyroid gland becomes enlarged and it results in swelling in neck. This condition is known as goiter. The next one is anemia, which is the most common of all mineral deficiency diseases. The, the term anemia literally means a lack of blood. It is caused when the number of red blood cells is reduced than the normal. Hemoglobin molecules con contains a single atom of iron at its center. If body falls to receive sufficient amount of irons, iron, adequate number of hemoglobin molecules are not formed. So in this case, there are not enough functioning of red blood cells. The patient is weak and there is shortage of oxygen supply to the body's cells. 
the last one is over intake of nutrients over intake of nu nutrients is a form of malnutrition in which more uh, nutrients are taken than the amount required for the normal growth development development and metabolism the effects of over intake of intake of nutrients are usually intensified when there is reduction in daily physical activity decline in energy expenditure over intake of nutrients nutrients causes a number of heart health problems for example high intake of carbohydrates and fats leads to it plays a leading role to develop obesity and cardiovascular problems cardiovascular problems are heart related problems similarly high dose of vitamin a causes loss of appetite and liver problems excess excessive intake of vitamin d can lead to the deposition of calcium in various tissues as you can watch here here is excessive deposition of calcium so that was all about common forms of malnutrition including protein energy malnutrition mineral deficiency disease and over intake of nutrients i will discuss about the effects of malnutrition and home tasks tasks for the day 2 in my video lecture number 2 thank you and have a nice day